Hi, I'm John. I'm going to just walk through a design that I've already made that uses tabs, joints, and shows the constraints um, so that I can see how the mo box will move. This is a cantilevered box that my son requested for use with his Pokemon cards. There are multiple layers and he had a very specific design idea for how he wanted the box to open up um, in a cantilever design, kind of like a toolbox would. Well, let's switch over to Fusion 360 and I'll step through the design. So here is our Fusion 360 with the final box modeled. Um, so you can see here I have um, the box layout and I have a lid as well. Let me hide the lid. Um, and then I have this modeled. I only modeled these braces on one side of the box. Um, they are enough to constrain the movement so I can see and make sure that the movement is going to be in the correct order. I didn't need to do both sides for those. I, they're simply going to be laser cut and it was just to make sure that the interference and kind of angle of everything was, was correct. I'll show you the final design. So it is a cantilever design so the box goes out like that. And it opens up so that you have access to the cards within um, each of these little areas. Let's close the box up and I have constraints on these joints so they don't go down too far and then on, on closure they just close and sit snug and it works on both sides. So you can see the, the model. So I just did this to confirm that all the sizes were correct for the arms and the layout of the holes so that the box uh, would function properly uh, from the closed position all the way over to the open and back. Um, and then I also made a lid to cover so that uh, you can carry this whole um, box closed and not spill anything. So let's step through uh, how I came up with this design. I'll just play the design back. So you'll see that I first draw the base and then made a front and two sides in the back, and then made a mid-plane, um, and then I mirrored that across and up, and then I started to model joint sections for the holes, and then I made um, assemblies of all the joints um, within the finalized box, and then I was just doing the placement of the boxes. So I did one side and then I simply mirrored across um, to get the other, to get all the other pieces. And so I have the joint movement constraints here um, that set uh, the open and closed positions for, all, for each joint. And here I am modeling the lid, so the lid fits over the angled portions of the arms. That so the biggest part for me was the uh, design of and placement of the arms and the holes. So that's where the Fusion 360 came in very handy to, to figure out where and how all of those items should be. I've modeled a arm where the spacing of, of the two holes matches the uh, spacing from, from uh, the hole to hole diagonally. And I did that by just simply taking a uh, measurement of these after I modeled them in place. Did a similar thing for the long arm. So I, I made an assembly for going from uh, the long arm which crosses three of these holes and connects to the top, middle, and bottom, whereas the short arms simply connect the bottom and middle or top and middle. Now here I have the full assembly of the box, um, all three layers connected with the long and short arms. When I was happy with the one side of the assembly, um, I did a mirror. And I mirrored all the components over um, to create the second half. That is how I came up with this whole box assembly. So if I hide the lid, you can see the... I think this is pretty cool. All, all of the joints showing the full range of motion of the completed box. You can create pretty complex things um, with Infusion 360 for use on the laser cutter. So I know I went through this design fairly quickly. If you have any questions, 
uh, please comment below and I will uh, try to answer them best as I can. Thanks.